From hot spots to hidden gems, this is your guide to all things local, the LA unscripted way. Backyarding with all three of your favorite girlfriend guides. <laughs> Soaring, sun sizzling. There is no doubt the heat is on in Southern California. Happy summer. I'm Dana Devon, and for the next half an hour, we are here to keep you cool. Unscripters, did you know, according to the National Centers for Environmental Information, the highest temperature recorded in SoCal was back in 2012 on June 17th. Get this, at 3.57 in the afternoon, the mercury redlined at 130 degrees. Even for summer love and SoCalers, that is too hot to handle. So, Olivia and Jasmine, do you guys love summer? I mean, 130 degrees? No. <laughs> right. But keep me 80, 90, that's fine. I love that. I agree. You can go horseback riding, all go. that stuff. How about you? I like the summer, but I do not like the mosquitoes. Hence why I go nowhere without my bug spray. She's been spraying. She and my been. bracelet. Okay, that's yes. your must-have. But another summer must-have is a happy get-together with our sponsors at the OC Fair. This is a slam dunk. Wait, no. This is a home run. <laughs> the OC Fair started 133 years ago as just a couple of horse races and a few exhibits. The first fair here at this location was in 1949, and we've been here ever since. Let's do it! Woohoo! Woohoo! The OC Fair sits on about 160 acres of properties. We're kind of a very big fair in a rather small footprint. And that's one of the reasons why we limit our attendance every day so that everybody that comes has an enjoyable experience and it's not too crowded. We all know the best thing about the OC Fair is for sure the food. So I had to stop by Bacon Affair. Get it, Bacon Affair? There's so much new this year. So even if people have been to the OC Fair before, they've got to come this year and see it. So. First of all, the food is incredible. These are candied bacon wrapped pork belly bites. It's basically pork on a stick with sugar and maple syrup and delicious goodness. For hot days like this, there's regular smoothies or there's maple bacon smoothies. Have you ever dipped a French fry in your ice cream? This is that. All right, I am super stuffed, so I just got a lemonade, and I called in some reinforcements to help me eat. Hi, Jasmine. Hi. What'd you get? Shrimp. Gotta love the fair. The OC Fair is on through August 13th. We are dark on Mondays and Tuesdays. The fair opens at 11 a.m. every day and open until uh, midnight, and people can go online and pick the day they want to come to the fair. They need to buy their tickets in advance on OCFair.com. We are at the Great American Petting Farm at the OC Fair. And of course, we're located right by the Green Gate. So it's really easy to find. It's free to come in, which is very exciting. If you'd like to feed the animals, you can. You do pay for the feed. It's optional, but a lot of fun. Do you want to feed them with me? I do want to feed them. OK. I'm going to feed the pregnant mama, because she deserves it. Do the animals like being in here? Oh, they love it. They absolutely love it. So you see the huge variety in here, right? right. It is incredible. I don't think they know that they're different from each other, since they're all raised together on a beautiful ranch in Texas. Yeah. And they love it. We feel really privileged to be able to bring this experience to kids all over the country. story of the week has been this excessive heat, right? But not in Costa Mesa. I mean, look at this breeze. It's unbelievable. Three, two, one, cook. I love, absolutely love watching people experience the fair. We have three new rides this year at the OC Fair. I just love watching the fair on people's faces and how much they're enjoying it. I just love the fair. It's the perfect thing to do in the summer. Uh -huh. Thanks for inviting me. Yeah, thanks for coming. This is great. Well, up here we get a breeze. Yep. So nice. Yes, food and fair. Ugh. That's all you need in life, especially in the summer. Yep. And who doesn't love all that deep fried fair food? The Ohio State Fair is known for its giant deep fried gummy bear. Are you kidding? Texas is known for the original deep fried Coke. 
Jasmine, what's your go-to? Oh, I love the pineapple with the fried rice in it. My favorite. Oh, that sounds amazing. Okay, what about you? New favorite since this last shoot. Yeah. The smoothie with bacon in it. What does it taste like? Bacon? Yeah. It's like, well, it's like... <laughs> Is it like sweet and salty? It's like sweet and salty. You know when you dip your french fries in ice cream? In maple, yes, yes like that. Okay, that. I got you. I got you. Just the thought of all that fair food could make me break out. I mean, I already am. But good thing our Anya Sara is checking in with some Style Smart secrets for skin. Okay, Dr. Ava, you are known. You are the expert for all the treatments. I come here for everything from face smoothing and refresh to back bulge to getting my stomach ready for the summer. You are the expert. And I am so grateful because you are giving us a Style Smart world exclusive today. I'm the first one you've told about this. That is absolutely correct. You are the first one to roll it out because I love taking care of you. And I want you to have the very best care, not only in the office, but when you go home. So think about it like you go to the dentist. You go to the dentist, you have your teeth cleaned, you have your teeth whitened, and then what do you do? You go home, you have a glass of red wine, you have coffee. some coffee and they get stained. So you're gonna brush your teeth, right? So you come to the office, we spend all this money on radio frequency microneedling, on electromagnetic stimulation, on all these procedures and then you go home and do nothing no 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 we have a new device that is going to help improve the results of those in-office treatments that you're going to take home with you dr. Ava what is the name of this tool the tool is called Cara. Clarify. A. Activate. R. Restore. A. Amplify. This is it. Look, look how cool it is in your hand. Okay, so the first one is Clarify. Oh! So that's if you have acne, and so oh. the, yeah, so it's a little kind of bluey purple light, and so it has a low and a high setting. Let's just say I see a little blemish coming on, popping up. I would immediately grab my Cara tool on my bathroom counter and do it for 10. Then the next setting is the restore setting. So you can have a quick fix before you go out. So the red light is going to help stimulate your cells to make more collagen. It stimulates the energy production part of the cell. And it's very anti-inflammatory as well. This is also the amplify setting. So this will really help drive your active serums into your skin through a process called electroporation. Okay, so this tool is kind of like extra credit. After you've done your homework and you've come in and seen you and gotten the device on the big machines, then you get to do extra at home. Today, what are we doing to my face? So everybody is they, you know, maybe mature just a tiny bit. Their mm -hmm. brows drop just a little bit. So today what we're going to do is lift your brow. So we're going to use the activate setting. So this is like an at-home brow lift. And you can see that little twitch you got yeah, there. So yeah, I am that's twitching. Me. It's amazing how quiet this is. Like I could be doing this while on a conference call and no one would know. And that was so easy. I can't believe it. I was so quiet. Now the Cara tool is so exclusive. It's so VIP. There's only one way to find out everything about it when it's coming out. Exactly. Follow me on Instagram and Dr. Ava says. Okay, that's all great. I'll check every day, but because I'm your favorite, I mean I can just take this one. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> LA Unscripted has you covered this summer. So what is your favorite way to stay cool? DM us and we just may show up in your backyard. Yep, we do it. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Back to LA Unscripted. I'm Dana Devon, and the entire LAU crew is backyarding for this special Beat the Heat episode. So, you know, they say gardening is growing in popularity. So, do you guys garden? Do you have a green thumb? Absolutely not. Me neither. Okay, I'm with you guys. I can't even keep a cactus alive, but I can plant myself down at a local hotspot like this. Grosses Madre is about the environment, vegan, Mexican food. Uh, we're 100% organic. Uh, we're a sustainable company. We use a lot of local farms. The name Grasas Madre originated uh, from Mother Earth, where all, all our food comes from and what we put in our body. I have a lot of guests that come, uh, that come to me afterwards and say, you know, I didn't even tell my friend that it was vegan. And throughout the whole meal, she didn't, they, you know, they wouldn't say anything. And at the end, they would tell me you just ate a completely plant-based meal. 
every single dish is made with love. So that is the reason it tastes good. God, this is good. This is the most, honestly, the most beautiful tortilla soup I've ever seen. Tell me about the tortilla soup. This is not just beautiful, it's good for you. Mm. Uh, this is uh, based in vegetable puree. Okay. So these have onions, garlic, bell peppers, tomatoes, all good for you. Okay. Oh my God, and this is a vegan burger? It's a vegan burger, yes, man. We combine rice, beans, mushrooms, and we dust it with the tortilla chips. And it's a beautiful burger. These are kind of one of your signature dishes, right? right. Yes, ma'am. Now these are carnitas and they look like carnitas, they smell like carnitas, but what, what is it actually? Actually, it's jackfruit. Here at Gracias Madre, we do everything from scratch. Why is it important for you to, to present these vegan dishes that taste so good, but are also so good for the environment? It's just not just good for the environment, it's to make harmony with the universe. And also, it's really important as a humans to take care of ourselves. When you become vegan, your mood change. You're more happy, your skin, your wrinkles disappear a little bit. You're happy with your tummy. And like people say, use food as a medicine. And while many of us are enjoying the green and great outdoors, this summer, the Department of Public Health warns that there may be more mosquitoes and pesky pests than usual. Ow! God, there's one. All oh, right. God, what? Ow! Ow! <laughs> I met up with our sponsor at Corky's Pest Control for some at-home hacks. Taking care of the bugs and doing a good job and doing it, trying to do it right all the time, has just been a wonderful feeling. I grew up on a farm in Michigan. My father made me the pest control person when I was nine years old because I was complaining about the worms and the apples. He said, okay, you take care of it. And then I came to California with General Motors. I was playing poker with some guys on Saturday nights. They were in the pest control business. They kept telling about bugs and I say, no, that's not right. <laughs> and so I'd go up and get the books and say, see, this is the way it is. So they told me I, sh I should go down and get my license and be in the pest control business. And so I did. That was 54 years ago. When you have snails in a particular place, I mean, that escargot, that's escargot to us, but it's also escargot to the rats. You say, how come I've got all those dead shells? You know, well, that's because, you know, they've got rats. My grandma in the south of France would collect them and then eat them because she's the oh. escargot. Well, you have the citronella candles for the uh, mosquitoes. The trick is, is you put it under the table, not on top of the table, because the mosquitoes bite you in the ankles generally. The other thing is, is that mosquitoes fly upwind about three to five miles an hour. So what you do is you put the citronella torches in the yard if you're going to have a party, knowing that they're going to fly upwind. So which way is the wind coming from? What I did is I put together, I mean, I had, I had a lot of time sitting in a chair drinking beer saying, what in the world am I gonna do about this bug, you know? And so then you sit back and you develop what you think is the perfect program, training the people on doing it that way so that you have good programs done by excellent technicians. And that's really the secret to the whole thing. Okay, cheers, babes, to cheers. backyarding, yay! But you all don't have to move. LA Inscripted is still heating up. Stay with us. handling this summer's unscripted heat. Well, let us know, because we want to try it too. Meanwhile, on the canyon roads and local freeways, drivers insist it is time to go topless. Cars, people, convertible cars. In SoCal, our cars really are our second home. Like, honestly, my trunk okay. is like my second closet. You guys were just talking about if you had bathing suits in the back of yes. your cars. We do live out of our cars. And now we put it in drive with our sponsors at Toyota. I love that Toyota makes it easy for you, pun intended, <laughs> to be able to just really have an experience with the vehicles right here at the fair. So show me some of the cars. What's the fun ones? 
Toyota has been a great partner of ours at the OC Fair for over 10 years. People love to come to the fair and see new things, right? And what better partnership than with Toyota to introduce their new models? Yes. Oh. New car smell, you can't beat this. We're here at our Toyota SoCal Lounge, um, but this year the theme of the fair is happy together. You can come here, you can hang out, you can relax, uh, you can get involved with our Guitar Hero game, you can spin our wheel that we have here for a number of prizes like sunglasses, uh, heat pressed bags, so there's lots happening here. Let's do it! Big money, big money, big money! for you to kind of touch, feel, and experience these cars firsthand from the, you know, Tacoma to the Tundra to the BZ4X, which is our fully electric vehicle. Lots of hype around the electrified area, if you will. Um, the Grand Highlander, that's also new. Ooh, look at this grill. We all are familiar with the Highlander, and we now have the Grand Highlander, which is gonna be a little bit longer, a little bit different, but you know what? It's, it's pretty amazing. Yeah, it sure is grand. It is grand, and it is considered a midsize SUV, so you're still getting that comfort and everything. Whoa. But when you talk about performance, you're getting 362 horsepower in this Grand Highlander. Wow. We can't forget about that new Prius that was just redesigned too. Just take it in. Okay, yes, definitely this is the cool car, right? It is. This is the one to check out. This is the Prius Prime, which means you have that all electric driving range, which has improved pretty significantly up to 44 miles of all electric driving range. Then from there, it's gonna switch over to your hybrid technology and you're looking at 50, 52 miles per gallon combined wow. class leading fuel economy. That's what this vehicle is all about. This is a new car, a new addition to the fleet. Talk about the Crown. It sure is, the Toyota Crown. There's been a lot of excitement around this. It's kind of sporty meeting elegance, if yeah. you will. It is like no vehicle that we have in the lineup currently. It is a hybrid as well. Um, you're looking at some pretty great power too, 340 horsepower, but 41 miles per gallon in this premium sedan. All right, I'm passenger, you drive this time. There's a lot of space in here. It's definitely luxurious. So yeah. this is a luxury sedan in the Toyota lineup. They always do a fantastic job of putting together an interactive footprint where people can come not only to see the vehicles, but they can meet VIPs, they can play games, uh, get a little shade, uh, and just have fun. <laughs> Guys, it's roomy enough to fit a whole person in here. The days the fair are open, we are here. Put your seatbelt on, we're going for a drive. Go. We're going for a spin. Why not? Bye! You know how summer can bring back the memories? Well, cars can actually do the same. So what was your first car? Okay, I had a Volkswagen Jetta and I actually gave her a name. You know how you name yes. cars? I named her Pearl. I love that name for a car. Okay, what was your first car? A Ford Escort. I didn't name her. She was a little busted. Oh my God, me too. Yes, what was your car? I had a Nissan, I can't remember what kind, but it was busted. And so I had to climb in the side of the car like Dukes of Hazard. Remember they climb in the window? Seriously, but my all-time favorite was when LA Unscripted launched almost three years ago, and the producer surprised me with a custom car wrap. Oh, I love this. This still gives me the feels. It's a lot of different wraps. I mean, this is a promotional wrap. We prefer to have two or three days to do it right, but if it's a really rush, we can do it in 24 hours. And do you think Dana is going to love this? I really hope so. I really hope so because we're doing it too, too much, with too much love. Okay. You know, we love that girl and, and I hope she likes it. Yeah. I really hope so. God. She has so much energy. She's amazing and fun. And you know what? You don't see fun anymore. And she makes you people laugh. Are you willing to go for this show? Would you let us wrap a car with you? You, you know, all, all of you. Do I, I would. would you drive it around? Yes. yes. 
So they, George at my office created the artwork. We sent over several different objects and styles. They picked one, and as a surprise, it's a fun idea to surprise somebody. Imagine coming out to your car and seeing your car fully wrapped. It's like, wow. What is this? What's going on? Let me see. What is this? Are, are you ready? Can I see? What One, is going two, three, and... What? <laughs> oh my God! No! Who did this? Kimberly? Eric? Eric? Oh my God! Oh my God! Thank you so much. I know we're not supposed to hug, but I have to hug you. Oh my god! That is incredible! It was those guys. Tomas Misty! Oh my god! Thank you so much! Oh my god, that is incredible! So you actually drove around with your face on a car? You know, first of all, my face was so huge, but I have a huge head anyway. But the thing is you have to be so nice because you can't cut people off, you can't put your finger in your nose, you can't do anything. When your face is on your car, you have to really behave. It's true. But I hope you had some fun in the sun with this LAU threesome. Where will we be next? Who knows? Stay cool, you guys. Ready, we gotta do the kiss, ready? Yes. Mwah! <laughs>